several tissues representing different systems are in this model. What I'd like to concentrate on though are the digestive tissues, namely the pancreas, structures of the duodenum, and then structures in and around the liver. So let's start here with the pancreas. We have the tail of the pancreas on this end. Again, this is an anterior view, so this would be towards the left. As we work our way towards the right, we have the head of the pancreas. Now this has been sectioned off and opened up. So what you see running right down the middle here is the main pancreatic duct. In this main pancreatic duct, as we get closer to the duodenum, takes a loop downward here. That loop downward is still the main pancreatic duct, and the digestive juices and enzymes that secrete out of this main pancreatic duct are going to exit from the pancreas into the duodenum right here at a structure called the major duodenal papilla. The major duodenal papilla. If you look here, you'll also notice there is an accessory pancreatic duct. So that's sort of a branch that comes off here and also secretes into the duodenum at the minor duodenal papilla. So main pancreatic duct loops down to the major duodenal papilla and also branches off as the accessory pancreatic duct and secretes at the minor duodenal papilla. Now this pancreas ties in with structures that we see here. This is the liver sort of cut and reflected upward and underneath there you can see the gallbladder. So this is the gallbladder here. Again, this is an anterior view. So this branch right here would be the right hepatic duct of the liver. This would be the left hepatic duct of the liver. Right hepatic duct, left hepatic duct come together to form the common hepatic duct. The common hepatic duct takes that bile that's coming from this region and goes up the cystic duct the cystic duct leads up, and we store that bile in the gallbladder. Now again, our stomach would be sitting here. Stomach empties out its contents. It's no longer food, it's what we call chyme. But that chyme starts to move through here, and the gallbladder basically gets the signal saying it's time to release that bile. So that bile comes back down the cystic duct, and again, the cystic duct and the common hepatic duct come together and form the common bile duct. The common bile duct is what you see right here. The common bile duct merges together with this main pancreatic duct and it again secretes out this major duodenal papilla. So from the minor duodenal papilla, you're only getting the secretions from the pancreas. From the major duodenal papilla, you are getting secretions from the pancreas as well as those from the gallbladder. Again, out the major duodenal papilla. Obviously here, this is the duodenum. You can see the plicae circularis. These are the ring-like structures that we have, permanent features on the inside of our intestinal lining. Helps to increase surface area. But the, the duodenum is important because it's taking on the contents of the stomach as well as the secretions that are coming from the liver from the gallbladder, and then from the pancreas as well. This is an anterior view. If I spin this around, you can see the posterior view as well. You can see the sectioned off liver. Remember, this liver is cut and sectioned. It would be enormous all the way out here like this. Um, you'll also see some of the purple and red and blue structures on the inside here, representing the different types of blood supplies that are moving through here hepatic arteries, hepatic veins, portal veins. In fact, what you see right here, green, pardon me, green and purple. If I pull up a model from another video, you'll also see that same green and purple right here. The purple representing the hepatic portal vein. That's the hepatic portal vein right here. And the green representing the common bile duct. 
That's the same common bile duct you're seeing right here. Now, another few features that you see on this model are not necessarily part of the digestive system. So here we have the spleen. The spleen is actually part of our lymphoid tissue. We have the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands or the suprarenal glands are part of our endocrine system. So this is endocrine tissue here. And the paired kidneys that you see here, left side, right side, here we are, posterior view, right kidney, left kidney, and the blood supply going into and out of them, renal artery, renal vein, and the ureters that lead out. This is actually part of our urinary system.